you know, I have friends that, that work within the NHS and they were relaying information to me that the number of cancers being actually diagnosed had fallen massively throughout 2020 and the pandemic because people naturally felt anxious going in to get checked. And so that for me was alarm bells kind of saying that, OK, now I have to use whatever football platform can put you on to, to raise awareness and just to normalise the conversation. So I think we shy away from from tough topics and, and tough times when, but when people actually come together and, and talk about difficult things, it can be made a lot easier. When things are found earlier, the process is still horrible. Like the, it, when, you, when you're having symptoms of, of anything, you never ever think it's going to be that diagnosis until it actually happens. But I can't emphasize enough that when that diagnosis is a little bit better news or has some good bits in it, it can be okay. And that was my experience, hopefully, managed to get things taken care of early enough and yeah your mind automatically goes to the worst and then you you start to rationalize things and start to listen to the facts I think my mind tried to listen to the facts as often as possible tried to just listen to what the doctors were saying I was so grateful because my club doctor came to every appointment with me so I didn't because I didn't it was one big learning experience for me I had no family history I had nothing to fall back on no one to really chat to that had gone through a similar experience. So for me, it was all very new. And that was one of the hardest things because I didn't really understand what was what was really going on. But for me, definitely trying to continue at work as smooth sailing as possible for as long as I could. So I still played right up, right up until my surgery. And then just, it sounds ridiculous, but tried to treat it as a football rehab. So after my surgery, just tried to get back to the pitch as quickly as possible because that's new was where my, my sanity came from. When I came to work or when I came to football, I felt normal. It was when I went home and would talk to friends or they would check in that you kind of are reminded, I guess, of the health implications that you're maybe going through. But for me, like the, the teammates and, the, and staff and club, like I can't thank them enough for the support that they gave me and it, it definitely got me through it.